All right, mic check, mic check. Uh, microphone looks like it's good. I think I can just uh, dive into this. Uh, you're gonna forgive me. I'm gonna do a little bit of housekeeping because I have not yet updated where we're at on the on the uh, what's it called on the on the rankings. Unfortunately, so let me go through and kind of a brief brief recap of where we were before. Right, this is our our previous previous rankings. Uh, well, this was before Big House. Player one and I kind of discussed this. this is where we landed. Six eighty six M number one in the S tier. Uh, Cody and Player yeah. one were pretty close to each other. And oh, that's my dog barking in the background. Charlie, stop it. Anyway, uh, then Holwyn was uh, a tier down in fourth place with uh, Gunner in the C tier afterwards in fifth place. And that was, you know, I think if I recall some of my notes talking about it before, it was pretty, pretty close. I think in my opinion, at least I think we maybe split. I, I think uh, player one thought it was not as close as I, as I thought it was. I, but I was just like, you know, just resume comparing. It seemed like it was going to be, you know, pretty close coming into the big house and then bike in uh, Mike Ray in this next tier, then uh, Kyos and myself in the following tier and then guard X Chia and Vex, uh, Closing out that top, uh, how many? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve people with a few honorable mentions. You know, uh, I, I think, and that brought us, you know, kind of to where we were at at the big house. Which, bringing up the bracket, we had quite a bit of participation overall. Um, you know, I guess uh, let me pull up the standings here real quick, so we can just kind of take a look at what ended up transpiring at this tournament. It was a pretty exciting event overall. You know. Uh, I think we ended up with 30, give or take, some DQs. We're just going to call it 30, you know, just for posterity's sake. That was a 30-person tournament. Uh, uh, if you DQ'd, uh, you know, if you went to the effort of signing up, then your then your entrant, entrance uh, matters to us. So we'll just call it good. But, you know, you had Cody taking the win. Player one, uh, what's it called? Coming in second, and then Chia coming in third. Strawberry with quite a big upset, with a few upsets uh, coming in fourth. Xenon in fifth. Gunner Maniac in, also tied for fifth. And then the uh, Michigan Legends, uh, Ori and Lane, uh, rounding out the uh, top eight and then finishing up that, uh, I guess, you know, top 13. And we'll go all the way down to 16. Uh, Merritt, Grunion, Ninja, Sill in the top 13, you know, tied for ninth place or top 12, excuse me, tied for ninth. And then 13 through 16, Ashley, Misfire, Paul Bunyan, and Ember. I know uh, Ashley, Misfire, Paul Bunyan, I think, are pretty local to that Ohio scene. So it seems like, you know, tied for 13th is where uh, where Ohio, the Ohio people kind of uh, uh, died in bracket. Uh, sometimes it looks like maybe maybe playing each other on occasion. I don't know. Uh, did they? Yeah, looks like Ashley and uh, Misfire had, a, had a played each other at some point. All right, anyway, but looking at the top, I think... It's fairly safe to say that um, in terms of ranking ramifications overall, I'm pretty sure that it's safe to say that anything below tied for fifth is not going to have huge ramifications on the uh, on the ranking. Uh, let me double check the bracket and see if there were any any specific uh, upsets uh, in that seventh and eighth range. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me see if I, what happens if I just click that open, open tabs, let's see. Well, brawl. Oh, does it not say who they, uh... oh, wait, maybe I can't open it that way. Maybe I have to click them directly. All right, there it is. Well, that's uh, that's interesting. So, uh, who did Ori play? Merrick, Grunion, Sill. Yeah, that Grunion, uh, Grunion Ori bro uh, matchup. I thought I think I said in my in my uh, pre the big house uh, seating before thirteen more people joined and threw all the seating out the window. Um, before I said, I said, I think Grunion versus Ori bro is going to be a really interesting match. And I also said Grunion versus Ashley is going to be a really interesting match match. Ended up, in a, you know, I think ended up being, you know, pretty, pretty interesting. Ori bro, the, uh, the old gen, uh, taking one back for the old gen and making his way in the top eight instead of that ninth. So, you know, 
I, I think it's pretty reasonable to say that if somebody is doing seeding and they seed within one win or one loss of, <laughs> of somewhere in bracket that they did, you know, pretty good. But even even then, I'm kind of of the opinion if, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very much a believer in this quartet idea that like even in the top four, let's say you seed somebody to come in fourth place and they win the tournament. That's not necessarily a miss seed that, you know, the point of the of seeding is to just make sure that they're not really any crazy conflicts uh, getting into the late part of bracket and anything else after that is more of a, a luxury than anything else. Um, did Lane get any any big wins? Grunyan, Merrick, Specs, yeah. I don't see I don't see Lane having a huge, huge, uh, huge impact, and I don't see Ori having a huge impact in the uh, in the rankings. But you know what? If uh, if Lane or Ori end up going to a different tournament, maybe I'll plug them into the uh, the ranking table later. So why don't we just go ahead and just do some housekeeping and let's uh, let's take a look at this bracket and let's make sure that we get uh, all the all the results into my ranking table just so that that way I can start um, comparing comparing resumes here. So. Shia over Zeman is a uh, is of of note. Maybe it'd be easier if I just uh, what's it called? Uh, would it be easier if I just pulled up the uh, the standings and just did them individually? Yeah, I think I'll do it that way. That might be uh, that actually might be easier. All right, let me, let me pull this up. Cody. Let's see. Let's put Shia player one player one for win. So. Cody wins over Chia, player one, and player one. And that means simultaneously, and I probably should update, I, I need to go through and update on the side here what everybody's rank is. As a matter of fact, let me do that uh, as I go through. Cody was, let's put a... So Chia had um, lost to Cody, and then let me find uh, let me find player one in here. Player one had a loss, two losses to Cody again. Oh yeah, he, okay. I got that right. And then next on the the, uh, the list here, you can see player one. Let's see what he well, let's see what he pulled out. I got the two losses of Cody already on there. Chia Strawberry. Chia and Strawberry. So let me let me get rid of that CD. We don't need that. So player one had wins on Chia Strawberry. All right, Chia Strawberry, and I got the uh, two losses to Cody. So I need to find Chia on here. Loss to player one. I need to find, do I have Strawberry on here? I don't think I have Strawberry on here. Strawberry, new entry. Let's see, alphabetically right there. One above, Strawberry. Lost to Chia so far in the rank. Okay. Clear out of that. Chia up. Did I just do Chia already? Hmm. I'm a little confused. Oh, I got Xenon in here. Got to put Xenon into the uh, into the list as well. All right, Xenon. Okay, so Chia had a win on Xenon. Then a win on Gunner. Then a win on Strawberry Run. So that means we need to go find Xenon. Chia for a loss. Find uh, Gunner. 
input. She uh she uh for a loss. Oh, crap. Let me uh, let me nail this down so it's not as hopefully no one's getting motion sick watching this. All right, Chia down, and then I need to find Strawberry. I guess I already put Chia. I don't know why I put Chia down. Anyway, that part's taken care of, and then Chia. I need to put the lost to player one and the lost to Cody, but I think I'd have already covered that already. Lost to Cody. And a loss to player player one. Sense. All right, got that taken care of. Going down the list again. Got Strawberry here, and then got a win on Gunner and win on Zenin. All right, so got to go down Strawberry, Gunner Maniac. Zenin. Lost to player one in Chia. Let's win on here on Strawberry. Yep, okay. That checked out. So I gotta find Gunner Maniac. Let's Strawberry in. And I gotta find. Zen in and put Strawberry in as well. Right. And then that leaves us with Zen in here. Let's see. Strawberry. Chia. Losses for Strawberry and Chia. And let's look at Gunner. Let's see if there's any major. Um, I guess I should add Lane and Ori just to, uh, um, you know, make it, you know, because some of the resumes, I think, for, like, some of the new people, like, uh, um, Zenin is going to be not reflective of actually how strong it is, just because I'm not going as deep, and I went pretty deep for some of the other tournaments, so let me add Ori and, uh, and Lane really quick. Let's do let's look at Ori's record. Renyan's on there. Right. Lost to Cody. Lost to Zena. Cody. Put in an Ori. And I put Zen in. And put in an Ori. Alright. No problem. And then let's look at Lane. Lane had a win on the Grunion. Grunion's the gatekeeper. Everybody beginning to win on uh, the Grunion. <laughs> uh, poor George. Uh, player one loss and Gunner Mania loss. One Gunner Maniac. Alright, so that's fine. Player one. Maniac. Lane. Alright. Cool. And I think that that's pretty much the relevant relevant results, I think, for rankings. If uh, I'm missing anybody, I guess, you know, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll look at the rankings and if uh, there's something egregious that I see, then I will uh, go back and try to address that. But for the moment, let me get everybody here so I can alphabetize. Alphabetize and let's, let's go look and let's look at some resumes and do some analysis.
hashtag analysis on this. As a matter of fact, let me let me leave the bracket just in case I leave that if just in case I need it. Um, Gardex, Chia, Gardex, Chia, and Vex. Buzz, Big D, and uh, Ripple. All right, let's let me give this a whirl right here. Oops. Maybe I need to put a space there. But S. All right, there we go. <laughs> S is not first in the, in the way these rankings work, uh, unfortunately. And then just so that that looks right, uh, I guess this is uh, F1. F2, F3, HMs didn't really matter, E1, uh, oops, two, A1, A2. All right, looking at some uh, some resumes. Um, immediately off the top of my head, I feel like Strawberrows wins on Gunner and Xenon are maybe worth honorable mention. Let me see if there's any other uh, people that had a comparable. Um, Chia. Yeah, none of the uh, honorable mentions that we have currently have a win quite to the level of Gunner Maniac. So that definitely, you gotta put Strawberry on the conversation. Maybe even higher, we'll have to take a look at, at that. Um, let's see, Lane, did he do any? Nope. Ori, nope. And then Xenon, not in particular. So Strawberry is kind of the, uh, the one person that really put themselves on the map for that tournament. So I'll go ahead and put them in. All right, now talking about this, we did have updates to the uh, resumes of Player One and uh, Cody. Cody with multiple Player One wins and uh, no losses, could only help himself. And Cody, oh yeah, Cody has yeah multiple Player One wins and Player Ones had the Cody losses. Added on, excuse me, a couple more wins though on uh, Chia, Strawberry, and Lane. Um, you know, I think. That is enough evidence on my end that I'm going to have to put Cody in a tier in a tier above player one. I think that they've separated themselves out enough um, that that there is a, a remarkable difference. And then cascading down, and let's you know we can go ahead and uh, modify that and switch that there all right so that's where we're at right now uh we've bumped uh player one down and cody has gone up one um looking at hoen and player one's resume to me it seems pretty straightforward that hoen's uh resume is oh well, i don't know maybe it's not as straightforward maybe i should leave them in the same tier because cody debuzz gardex you know, I guess it depends on how valuable you find the debuzz win right here. And this is something that we've thought, you know, I've been thinking about, you know, maybe a little selfishly for me because my resume is primarily based around this debuzz win. Like we think about it and at one point in time, debuzz was like the fifth seed or something like that going into Super Smash Con. And that is a pretty, pretty strong, pretty strong, uh, uh, you know, pretty strong win. But. On the same side, he only came in ninth at SmashCon this year, and it's the only tournament that he's entered. So, I mean, it's enough for him to be considered a, you know, a honorable mention, but not necessarily enough to, I think, um, put himself over the top. 
And actually, you know, being consistent, I think if you have a power ranked win or an honorable mention win, then um, it might be worthwhile to look at uh, um, if that person should be honorable mention. Like, I might put Aphrodis in the honorable mentions. Let me let me think about that a, a little bit down the line. I don't I don't know. I have to ask Ardix uh, how he would feel about that. But getting back to player one versus Hoenn. Big, big wins, a lot of wins uh, on player one's line. So many wins, but, you know, a lot more losses. Uh, yeah, like this Cody to Cody thing is interesting. But I think that I am more inclined to favor the head to the head and just the sheer magnitude of the uh, amount of wins that he has. So, you know, to be honest, I'm inclined to bump down Hoenn a uh, tier below player one. And that that brings us now to uh, Gunnar Maniac and uh, um, his resume because he he dropped sets to Chia and Strawberry. Which uh, Chia and Strawberry are not bad losses by any stretch of the imagination. But if you're in that contention for you know one two three four top five, um, I, I think going into the big house, I was mentioning that I thought Gunnar Maniac had an outside shot of overtaking Hoenn if you were to pull off some wins or you know protect against any losses below him but he wasn't able to do that so it seems pretty straightforward that Gunner Maniac has to drop down a tier um underneath uh underneath Hoenn as well which you know seems seems about fair and that puts us into the comparing uh comparing resumes here so uh bikes losses so far this season Gunner Maniac and Mike Bray. So Gunner Maniac does have the bike win and the head to the head. Uh, but if you look at Bikes, uh, you know, um resume to Gunner Maniac, 686M's a big win. Uh he has uh the Pelka win, uh and then Guard X Lux, Big D, player player one, Nest 682, Max Power. Um, you know, it's it's tough for me on who is higher between Gunner Maniac and Bike in this particular context. Like, it could go either way. I think... I think from wins, you know, uh, 686 and Player 1 are strong wins compared to anything that Gunner has... Although, you know, there's some caveat in that because of player one going Bowser in the Randbats tournament. And then simultaneously, uh, you know, the Lux win might not be as prestigious because Lux went, um, you know, I went uh, I went Meta Knight and Zero Suit Samus in the Randbats tournament against him uh, just, uh, you know, to save time and camping. Uh, so it may or may not be as good of a win. I think I'm inclined just looking at the resume. I'm inclined to keep Gunner Maniac ahead of Bike. And then looking at Mike Ray, you know, between Bike and Mike Ray, I still feel like despite Mike Ray beating Bike head to head in the uh in the tournament, you know, uh if you align them up, you know, in terms of win losses, 686M versus Lux win is in Bike's favor. And then, you know, the bike win for Mike Ray versus, I don't know, anyone else on the list. I think like if you had to trade winning versus bike versus Pelka, Big D, um, Lux, Gardex, Player One, 682, and Max, I think that would be more valuable overall than just uh just the win on uh on just the win on uh on bike for Mike, you know, to overcome the head to head, but the head to head shouldn't matter. A little bit, it's just, it's a little hard. And then, you know, in terms of losses, just Gunner Maniac and Mike Ray, and they both have a loss to Gunner Maniac, and Mike Ray has a loss to 686M, player one, which don't really hurt as much, but if you like line up who's a, a in, in this tournament thing, you know, uh, <laughs> comparing the losses, Kyos is slightly worse a loss than Mike Ray himself is. It's, you know, it's uh, comparing resumes. I'm still inclined to keep Bike above Mike Ray, even though it seems counterintuitive because of the, you know, Mike Ray outplacing outplacing Bike at SmashCon. I, I think, you know, some of the uh, damage probably came from the Xanity Origins tournament that he did not place 
Uh, I mean, he plays well, but he didn't really pull off any uh, any major wins, you know, because I think that's where the Bulba Canoe Super Saiyan uh, 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 wins probably are from. Uh, so I think I'm inclined to keep these in a, in the same tier. It's close, but I don't know if there's enough separation that would, you know, it immediately screams to me, change the tiers that they are in. I think having them five, six, seven in the D tier is reasonable enough for me. And that gets down to Kyle's and Lux and, um, you know, I don't know if there's any, there's no, there's no change in the tournament. Um, when they were playing, I guess Gunner Maniac doing worse does make that loss, you know, marginally worse, not by much. We we just kind of effectively moved them down the tier, not necessarily overall in ranking. So it doesn't really change a huge amount. Um the Chia loss is gonna be not as bad shortly, I think, because of the uh because of what Chia Chia's run. Um, but you know, I think if we're like thinking about this, just resume wise, I'm trying to not be biased about this here because we're talking about like that the buzz, uh, that the buzz effect. I think part of the struggle for ranking me in particular is we know that these players are out there that are strong players like the buzz Pelka and ripple puff, like ripple puff. Uh, um, I beat twice and ripple puff beat Chia, who's going to probably be ranked uh, a little bit higher now in a second after we go over her run in the tournament. Um, and so I wonder how much more valuable these, uh, you know, these wins are, are, are on, you know, on, on my end. Like, is the buzz versus the Mike Ray win, is the buzz a better win overall? Um, I think, you know, last year it would have been on the power ranking. Uh, but this year, I don't know. I don't know if that counts as much. And then after that, you know, uh, uh, is everything else is Hinkage and, you know, Ripple Puff wins, uh, Pelka, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I, 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 I kind of am inclined it could go either way. So I'm just going to not touch it for the time being. And then let's talk about Chia. Chia pulled off a win on Gunner Maniac and Strawberry at the tournament. Only losses were Cody and Player One. So looking at the, uh, at the, at the resumes, um, if you add in Gunner, Gunner to the mix and put those, uh, put those wins and losses against each other, um, I'm inclined to put Gunner Maniac's win definitely above Guard X's uh, uh, zero two Samus Lux and uh, Bowser Player One wins. Um, again, it's I, I'm inclined to put Chia above my ranking even because again we don't know how strong the buzz is and we you know Ripple Puff is tough because Ripple Puff beat. You know that 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 that's actually something that might work in my favor a little bit, like we were talking about, where there's like this. Uh, you know, there there's an old player back in the day named Inui that uh, did this logic thing, like oh, A beats B, B beats C, therefore A is better than C, which is not always the case, but based off the limited knowledge that we have to go over, you know, it's definitely something worth considering. Um, I'm gonna give current Gunner the benefit of the doubt over my rankings, and she is definitely moving it up to the E tier. Um, I don't, and, and Chia had direct wins over, uh, over Kaios at that point too. Um, you know, I'm, I'm inclined to put Chia above Kaios and myself actually. So I'm going to put Chia at E1 and then, you know, well, actually thinking about this is Gunner and Strawberry a, and Kaios, Gunner and Kaios, is that a better win set than Bike? It's a better win than Bike. And Kyle's is a better win than Lux, even. So I'm actually inclined, now that I think about this, I would put Chia above Mike Ray. Is it above Bike, too? Is there a better win? No, 686M still has a better, you know, has a better win for Bike than Gunner Maniac. Uh, and is Kyo's a better win than anyone else on this list? Uh, um, you know, it's hard because again, we were talking about some of that, uh, some of that ranking, not knowing for sure how strong Pelka is. Yeah, it's it's tough. I would, 
you know, it's whether it's higher than bike is also a question, you know, but bike and my career also, I I don't know. It's, it's like a virtual tie between bike, Mike, bike, Mike and Chia, I think. So I'm, you know, just based off the gunner maniac win. I don't know. The ripple loss is definitely a worse loss than anything that bike and Mike Ray have though. Um, that's uh, this is like super splitting hairs at this point. I'm gonna put Chia at D two and Mike at D three, and let's let's take a look at how this uh, how this looks uh, on the uh, on the sheet. Literally like that, actually. Oh wait, no, it's D one, D two, D three. E4. All right. That's probably what I would put it at right now. You know. Um, and then afterwards, uh, Strawberry having one win on Gunner Maniac. Is that better than, you know, uh, Akayo's win? You know, it might be for Vex. And then is uh, Gunner Maniac better than uh, on on Gardex's list? You know, it, it might be. Uh, Strawberry might end up being. You know, it's uh, it's hard because it's only one tournament, right? It's uh, and one win on a and one win on Gunner Maniac and a win on on Zenin. and Gun. You know, Strawberry is probably suffering from a, a similar thing of how strong is Zenin at the moment. Tournament wise, I wonder if Zenon's gone to any other tournaments. I think I remember clicking on his uh, on his profile and uh, I think he had a a tournament at a. Did he go to a different tournament at some point this season? Let's see. Oh, thanks, Star GG. That's awesome. Rip. Are you serious? Okay. Well, I can't look up his results. Star GG says it's uh it's not gonna happen today. Well, that's a that's a, that's a rip. <laughs> well, anyway, Star GG. Uh, you know, I I think if my memory serves, I could be wrong. Zenon at the beginning of February or at some point in February went to a tournament where he came in third to uh, Hoenn and uh, um third to Hoenn and six eighty six M. So it might be something that where you would put like you know for Hoenn a a a, a, a Zenin win or six eighty six M a Zenin win. Uh, if I had to guess, it'd probably be like you know Hoenn got got two, but I, I don't know for sure how that how they seeded that out. So I won't worry about that part at the moment. I feel like just as a rule that. If somebody goes to one tournament, they shouldn't necessarily be on the rank, you know, like if they just win one tournament, that's like kind of what this HM honorable mention tier is looking like, um, you know, but realistically, in terms of overall results, uh, I would probably put the one win by Gunner, I would rank it around Vex, maybe above or maybe below Vex. It's kind of like, you know, if I had to just rank it by itself. Um, because, you know, I don't know. Uh, uh, Gardex might be a hard one because he has a he has more volume, but maybe doesn't quite have as quality of wins. It just depends on how much you want to rate. You know, these two wins. I'm gonna rate them. You know, at least decently enough because uh, you know I think I'm my, I think I'm okay. Player one's Bowser is a monstrosity and has to be stopped. It's literally absurd what he does with that character. I don't know. <laughs> it's nuts. Um, yeah, and then, but it, you know, are the rest of the wins is, uh, one Gunner Maniac win better than, uh, than my resume or Kyle's resume. I, I, I don't buy it. it. You know, it might be, but it's, you know, maybe I could see maybe an argument if you just want to like not count Ripple, uh, that much and not count the buzz that much, and not count Helka, uh, that much, uh, as, you know, as wins that maybe, maybe you can make an argument for Strawberry being slotted in ahead of me, but. 
I'm not going to get too, I'm not going to try to split hairs too much on the tournament. I think you got to go to more than one tournament to be fully ranked. So that being said, um, let me find Strawberry's. Uh, let me find Strawberry's. Uh, what's it called? Uh, um, let me find Strawberry's profile thing. Let me let me make his. Let me make him a little little avatar in the uh, in the rankings. Sec. Save that. Sweet. File here. Strawberry into the mix. And Strawberry is definitely right now the strongest, uh, the strongest of the uh, the HMs in terms of their their resume. I think uh, so. You know, that's that's where I would end up putting it. And I think that'll that wraps up where I would keep everybody ranked. So summing it up, 686M is still the S tier, the uh, undisputed, the undefeatable, uh, only only defeated by bike. You know, sometimes you fall off the bike, but you get back on and you win the tournament. Um, and then afterwards, you have Cody, who, you know, in volume, I could see maybe some argument that maybe Cody's volume of resume might be worth putting him in the same tier as uh, 686. It's arguable, but he has more losses, right? Like that, that's like the, the one part that taking into consideration, I just don't fully, uh, um, I just don't fully buy the, the, the equal tier. Uh, they might be equally skilled. I don't know. Uh, it, it's close, but um, definitely in terms of results, uh, Cody is in second. Player one with uh, his finishing drop to, you know, pretty much a clear third. Poen's a clear fourth. And then Gunner Maniac, um, Mike, Shia, and Mike Ray are kind of in this uh, really t close, tight-knit uh, next rate, you know, range. Like, literally, if you put the four of these in, in tournament next time and just hit the random button, you can make an argue for any of them uh, in any of that place for five, six, seven, eight. And then bringing up uh, nine and ten, uh, Kyos and Lux. And then Gardex and Vex, and the honorable mentions Strawberry, uh, Ripplepuff, DeBuzz, and Big D. And that, that about does it for the rankings. Uh, so if you like this analysis, uh, you, you know, I'll keep doing more. Go ahead and uh, you know, shoot me a like or subscribe. Tell me what I messed up. Uh, you know, I think my analysis is decent, but I could be wrong. You know, I might debate on putting Afro Twist for having a win on. Uh, on Gardex in the honorable mentions because uh, I think that's the only other person with a uh, with a person that's power ranked win that's not in the honorable mentions. Uh, you know, uh, and I think if I had him on a uh, Discord and could see him post, maybe I would do it. I mean, I'll ask Gardex uh, to help with that. And then, uh, but yeah, that'll do it. So thanks everybody.